Howdy, Jacob here. Today we'll be reviewing the company Cross America Partners. Alright, so gigantic yield of 9.33%. That's huge. I mean, even just initially looking at the overview, they're paying out and have consistently paid out over $2.00. And they've made over $2 in earnings per share once. So I already have a feeling that they're either going into debt, issuing shares, doing some sort of thing to get them money. And looking at this market cap to enterprise value, I feel like they're going into debt. So $850 million market cap, $1.6 billion enterprise value, nearly double. It's in the oil, gas, and consumable fuels. Looks like they do wholesale wholesale and retail distribution on motor fuels. Um, quick look at PE, not super cheap, price to book. Um, so let's just see what the cash flow looks like. I mean, looks like they make more in cash flow than earnings. So 60, 61, 104, 83 million. And they pay out 80 million. I mean, that's like 100%. So the fact that they're using money to pay for acquisitions as well as this just shows you that they're either using the money to pay for acquisitions or pay a dividend. And then the other thing they're using is with debt. <laughs> um, their debt has gone from 184 million to 751 million, which is honestly fairly reasonable, a lot more reasonable than other companies that I've seen, because that's about nine, eight, nine times um, cash flow. I mean, we've already seen it worse on some of the other companies we've looked at, but again, things like this cannot go on forever, because either the debt issue is going to say, hey, we see that you just keep issuing debt. We need that money back, which will require them to probably sell off assets or issue common stock. Um, either way, not in the best interest of the shareholder. And so, yeah, using more capital than you have every once in a while can you know be fine if it's a cyclical business and you have to make up for a lost year with some um, cash on hand or selling of inventory quickly at lower price or yeah like cheap prices but when you do it consistently and you're just going negative negative into the hole more and more um either the debt issuer is going to re require you to pay some of the money back at least some of the money back um or you know worst comes to worst company goes under um because they they can't do that. They don't have the, the assets on hand to sell off quickly to be able to pay, pay that loan back. Um, but again, this company is making earnings that are pretty consistent. I feel like a smart management would just hold out on issuing more debt, uh, you know, maybe cut this dividend a little bit, which is not great for uh, the dividend people that want that free cash flow when they're just sitting on their butt every couple months but again even if they were to cut it in half a 933 turns into a 4.675 so of course yeah 4.65 that's that's still a good dividend yield um so to me if i were to start with some assumptions here i'd say you know what just just cut it in half keep that 40 million i mean yeah it's a high ratio but payout ratio but it's under 100, probably in the 60% you know, range for the last five years average. And, you know, it sounds like that's the type of company this, they want to be is just they don't think we can return it at, at good capital, uh, return the invested capital well, which they've shown historically at one year over 4, 10%. Otherwise, it's in the 2 to 3%. So... It, 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 make more, it makes more sense to just give it back to you as the shareholder. Um, so, I mean, let's just finish assumptions here. So, they got growth, a little bit from acquisitions, some other stuff. I mean, I don't know. 
I, I'm just going to do zero ten. Like I just, it's one of those companies that, who knows, price of oil is so high right now. They're probably getting as best revenue as they can. Um, what are you looking at for averages? One point five. Yeah, there's. Looks like it's not doing anything. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just waiting on this and then doing more research if it gets closer. But again, I feel like there's there's other companies that just make more sense to me. If this is a company that makes more sense to you, then by all means, please you know do the research. That's 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 my goal. Of this channel is just to give you companies you might not have ever heard of before. Um, so if you know a lot about the oil and gas wholesale and retail space, this might be for you, but some like me, I'm just going to have to look at the numbers and if it doesn't make sense initially, just again, sit on my hands and wait until it starts to actually make some sense. So, all right. I hope everyone has a good rest of the day. Thank you.